Hey there, Brendan Bailey with Marine Max, and I'm here on this beautiful 2018 Sea Ray 650 Fly L Class. We usually shoot these videos, as you've seen in the past, out in the middle of a beautiful setting, but today, we want to show you where this boat's been living since 2018. A completely enclosed roof over top and on sides. The boat's been protected in this little area here. So gel coat, everything is really pristine on this boat. And you'll see that when you take a walk through it. So we're going to start back here on the swim platform. Obviously we have a hydraulic swim platform with the ability to put your tender in. A uh, really, really nice large platform. Either drop this down, use it as a beach mode a few inches underneath the water on a, on a beautiful day, or obviously drop it down to put your tender on and off. As you notice across the back here on the transom, we have a crew quarter, nicely laid out. You've got two bunks, a nice, uh, nice head area here, sink. Uh, really a nice spot for either storage like this particular owner uses it for. If you wanted to take a captain or a mate or a mate and a chef, you had the ability to do that and give them their own space here on the swim platform. So we're gonna walk up through this transom walkway. As you can see, you can walk up either port or starboard side on this boat, which is typical for a boat this size, but you've got nice wide entries. Here we are in this beautiful, wide open spaces into the salon, which we'll walk through that later. Right now, we wanna focus on fun zones, which is the outside of the boat. You've got your wet bar area with the grill, the Kenyan grill, nice fridge below, and a nice little area to whether you're prepping food or prepping things back here, nice sink here as well. Docking station really gives you a nice line of sight right back to the back starboard corner of the boat as you're backing in and out. Man, you've got really great line of sight uh, right here in the cockpit area. You've got this port to starboard bench seat here that'll seat about six people. A lot of people will put a couple of folding deck chairs on this side as well. Nice spot to be able to have either lunch or, or breakfast or dinner whatever you desire, right back here in the cockpit. And it's completely covered by this fully integrated hard top, uh, which makes it nice. You don't need to put up shades or anything like that. It's always covered, a nice area to entertain as well. We'll head upstairs in a few minutes to check out the flybridge on this boat. But first, let's walk forward so I can show you the bow area. Nice and easy to walk up the side. You've got a nice grab handle that runs all the way up this way. And look how high this bow rail goes. I'm six foot five. You can see this is going all the way up, almost to my hip. So here we are in what I like to think is just amazing spot to come and watch a sunset. This boat does have the full forward awning system. So this whole area with the addition of a four, four stainless steel poles and a, uh, and a cover, you have the ability to have a tent structure up here to shade this area, sit up here, have a cocktail, watch the sunset, uh, just a really great social area with a nice walkthrough. So whether you wanna sit here in the sofa area or you wanna lounge and lay out up here, you had the ability to do that. Or if you just wanted to sit all the way around, you got a couple of flip up backrest underneath these two seat cushions. It makes a nice area to, to have dinner, have a glass of wine with the girls, whatever you wanna do up front here. As we step up here into the captain's corner, this is typically the things that we like to look at. You're gonna notice here, nice polished stainless steel anchor, hydraulic windlass on this boat, as well as hydraulic bow and stern thrusters as well. So nice to have that power there when you need it. You're not relying on an electric source that's gonna, that's gonna trip on you. Nice having the hydraulic systems on this boat. One of the other things that's really nice in this area are these lockers. On the port side there is where the shade structure stores, but on this side, you can put your mooring gear. This particular owner puts a couple of fenders on each side, makes it nice and easy for when you're coming in. All that stuff's here. You don't have to run to the back of the boat. The back has its own mooring gear. The front has its own and a great spot to store all that stuff away, as well as storage underneath these bow seats. So let's walk back down the starboard side. I'd be remiss not to point out as we walk through, as you can see the Isinglass enclosure, that is something that the owner has added to the boat. It's got the strata glass, the high-end crystal clear glass, really gives you a protected area 
uh, when you're captaining from up there. If you get some inclement weather or something, you have the ability to be enclosed up there as well. Again, here's that pantograph door. Nice feature to be able to come in and out, easy access. If you're pulled up to a dock where you wanted to get out here, you also have a break in the rail here to be able to go out here. Love having these side gates with the tide where it's at right now. You can really see how easy this is to get on and off the boat versus stepping over the gunnel to get there. And that's both on port and starboard side. So let's go up to the fly bridge. I talked a lot, or I will be talking a lot about the master stateroom down low and how it is an amazing feature on this boat. This fly bridge, I don't know that there's any that compares to it. Come on up and let's take a look. So here we are on the fly bridge of the 650 fly. You'll notice that you've got a full instrumentation here. You have the Raymarine 16 inch Axiom units here, flush mounted in, autopilot. Really it's a duplication of everything that you have below. You have up, upstairs as well. Uh, large, oversized, not real small. Just a really nice area for you to captain from up here and you don't feel like you're sacrificing or losing any instrumentation from what you have downstairs. One of the things that owners love about Sea Ray is the ability to have your family and friends on a long run sitting in front of you. So whether you have your wife and her friends or the kids, everybody can sit here, you can see them. If you're making that run to the Bahamas, everybody can be sitting right there with you as a captain. And then check this out, while you're sitting here as the captain, they have a nice dinette area directly adjacent to you there on the starboard side. People can sit around there. Again, one thing that they have done very, very well on this boat is the layout of this fly bridge with multiple social zones through here. And to me, as a captain, knowing I'm running the boat, to know that I've got my people right around me, it's, it's amazing. So really, really a great layout. And as we step back into the aft deck here on the fly bridge, you've got a fridge here and an ice maker here. Kenyan grill. That's right, there's two Kenyan grills. So you have a lower station grill as well as an upper station grill if you're up here. Nice workstation here as well, sink. U-shaped seating all the way around this back table. This table will also drop with the push of a button. This will drop down, you can put a cushion here and just make a huge sun lounge back in this area with nice seating as well here, a nice area here, or coffee table or end table. It's kind of what that design is. Um, hard top is actually stopping here. As you can see, you've got a hard top all the way over the top with a fabric sunroof in the middle when you want to open up and get some sun there. But look at the sure shade that goes all the way out over the back. When you're out on anchor all day and it's time to eat, you want to be out of the sun for a little bit. You don't necessarily want to be inside because you're still wet. Everybody's still playing, but the hot dogs are ready. The burgers are ready. Great spot for you to come back here, able to be in the shade on this nice dinette that will seat eight or nine people all the way around here. So just an absolutely amazing fly bridge. The layout on this could not be any better. Uh, wide open spaces. You don't feel like you're on top of each other. Nice wide walkways. So if you're looking for a great entertaining fly bridge, this is it. We've checked out the fly bridge here on the 650 Fly Sea Ray. Let's go downstairs now. Let's get inside so you can see the pure luxury that this L-Class 650 Fly has to offer. So here we are in the salon of the 650 Fly and one of the first things you'll notice is how wide open this area is. When you push these stainless steel doors all the way over, it really opens this up. And you'll also notice this is all single level. There's no step up or, or big threshold there. It's all flat all the way through. Really makes it nice for entertaining inside and out. We'll step into here. You'll notice this boat does have the ebony gloss. Uh, wood grain package which is absolutely gorgeous on this boat really adds that rich rich yacht look and uh, was one of the most sought after wood packages on the Sea Ray lineup. So as you step in here you're gonna notice that you have a post seating here you can sit across from each other carry on a conversation nice L-shaped sofa with a pull-out bed. 
This owner has added a custom coffee table here. Used to be a couple of ottomans that were here as well, and I believe he's got those to go with the boat too. As we step here into the, uh, into the entertainment area, you'll notice the Samsung flat screen TV, which is nicely mounted at an angle. Makes it nice to be able to watch TV, whether you're here at the dinette area, you're here at the galley, everybody can be able to see the TV. Just really makes for a nice entertainment uh, platform. I love the way the bar stools are situated and the lighting throughout the boat. Not only the lighting through the ceiling, but you can see here how they have this backlit panel here. Absolutely gorgeous. And just a great place to be able to pony up and sit here, have a drink, talk to whoever's making uh, lunch or dinner for that morning or that afternoon. Just a really good natural flow as you transition from the lounging area to up here for, for dining and entertaining. Directly across, you'll see this beautiful mahogany table, gloss table with the L-shaped seating around that. Nice drawers at the base. It really makes it convenient when you're entertaining and you've got people sitting here eating, whether you're having breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the ability to come over here and use the Kenyan stovetop, go straight here to serve, really, really nice, or right off the back into the cockpit to serve at the cockpit uh, table as well. This boat does have ample refrigeration. You know, you got dual freezers, dual fridges, we did elect for the washer, uh, the dishwasher. Nice storage throughout this area, a double sink, nice stylish uh, faucets. Pretty cool feature here. This area is typically not well utilized on most boats, but Sea Ray went and put in the China cabinet that will actually come out of here. You've got all of your Sea Ray embossed uh, or etched glasses, cocktail glasses, wine glasses, plates. All that is stored here in this three level, this three drawer uh, china cabinet that disappears. Really makes good use of that space. And again, as I walk through the boat, I'm six foot five, and you can just see the sheer volume in this boat, not only from a headroom standpoint, but you just got a lot of volume, whether it be in beam or in height, you feel like you're in wide open spaces. Beautiful windows all the way around, give you a good panoramic view to be able to see out. The Panagraph door here as well, which is nice. Hit the buttons, unlock it, swing that out. Really makes it nice for in a docking situation or communicating with your crew. You have the ability to do that quickly right here from the lower helm station uh, if you're controlling the boat from down here. As we step into the helm, one of the things that you're gonna see here is obviously you have your dual Raymarine screens uh, that are all flush mounted in, really look like a nice glass dash area. Joystick control box here. This particular boat has the Caterpillar C18s. Very, very strong engine package for this boat. Definitely not going to be a, a, a boat that lacks in power or cruise speed. So um, you also have the uh, Raymarine depth instrument and autopilot uh, right here at the lower helm station. So beautiful helm station with, with dual helm seats, the stid seats, which are very, very nice high-end seats on this. Uh, fabric, everything is in light new condition. I don't believe this owner drove here a lot. Uh, so everything looks absolutely beautiful down here. One of the things you're gonna see is as we go upstairs, Sea Ray did a great job of just duplicating the lower helm station. There's not an abbreviated helm up there. It's almost identical upstairs uh, as well. So it really gives you all the tools, all the resources that you need upstairs as well. So let's move forward. As we go down into the living quarters here, This is a four stateroom, three head boat. So to each side, we've got twin bunks or twin beds here. The master stateroom to the aft, which is full beam. We'll get there in a few minutes. The two guest staterooms will share the head here. And then forward, as we move into the VIP suite, this would be a master in a lot of boats, but on this particular boat on the L-Class Sea Ray, Luxury doesn't stop for your guests. It's absolutely stunning. So as we get in here, you'll notice this glass bowl. This boat is equipped with the upgraded Cambria countertops, which is a beautiful upgrade. It has a nice metallic sheen in it. When the light hits it, it gets a good sparkle to it. You can see the nice lighting from here as well as on either side of the mirror. 
Um, nice shower, stand up shower with a nice seat. If you need to shave your legs, you want to be able to sit down in rougher seas, you have the ability to do that. And then nice, again, the ebony gloss cabinets all the way through this boat really, really set this boat off beautifully. So now we're going to look at these two guest staterooms. Again, these are pretty much identical staterooms, which both share the guest head here uh, on the starboard side just before we enter the VIP suite. Let's move into the starboard stateroom. You'll notice twin beds here side by side. These do have the ability to fill in and make a full size bed here. This particular owner typically keeps this as a full bed here, probably has a couple sleeping here. And on the other side, you could keep it as twin beds if you wanted to, but if you had kids or somebody to sleep separate. So each of the staterooms does have the built-in entertainment system in it as well. Uh, nice windows here, uh, not just little small portholes. That's one thing you're gonna see throughout the boat. You've got a lot of light coming into this boat, which was really, really nice. So again, nice accommodations for your, sec your third and fourth staterooms. And uh, we're gonna walk over now to the port side. And really, you're just gonna see the same thing on this side as you do on that side. Lots of headroom that's consistent throughout the boat. Uh, hanging lockers in both staterooms, as well as the entertainment system here as well. And again, that high gloss ebony wood package throughout the entire boat. So the guest head, or what would be a day head for your guests that were on the boat, is absolutely beautiful. You won't find a whole lot of difference between the VIP suite and the guest head here. As far as finish out, beautiful glass bowl sink, lighting throughout, beautiful tile floors, nice stand-up shower and head. Again, luxury doesn't stop for the guests. It carries out throughout the entire vessel. So now as we transition back here to the master stateroom, to me, this is the crown jewel of the 650 Sea Ray. Really any Sea Ray that's been built uh, in its history, I believe that this is the most mastered stateroom that I've ever been in. So let's step back here. As you're walking through, you do have washer and dryer uh, separate here, uh, not a combined unit, but you do have a washer and dryer separate. Really makes it nice for being able to get through those loads quicker versus a combo unit. So first thing you'll notice is just tranquility in here. You're gonna notice that when you step in here, you've stepped into your place, right? Beautiful finishings throughout nice refrigerator here nice to be able to keep waters or your favorite cold drinks here as you're going to bed without having to go back upstairs where your guests might be be still uh, up and at it for the night so king size bed i love the way that this is just a, a flat surface here there's no uh, there's no inclines or anything it's flat all the way around this and really makes it nice for navigating around the bed at night uh, you don't have to worry about watching your step Beautiful headboard with fabrics, lighting again going down over, over that headboard really sets it off. And tons of storage. As you can see here, you've got drawers here, four drawers here, a storage area here, and then over on the starboard side, a duplication of this on the starboard side. And again, those large hole windows really bring that outdoors in. When you're sitting in blue water, you got Bahamian water out there, or uh, Florida coast water, it is absolutely stunning to look out there and see that blue water and dolphins playing around right outside where you just woke up. Now this is one of my favorite features too, on a 65 foot boat, having his and hers closets, hanging closets, uh, really a neat feature for this boat. Here we are stepping into what in essence is a full beam master head. From one side to the other, you've got closets located over to the port side, but we're stepping now into the head, right behind the headboard of the boat. Uh, of the master stateroom and you'll see the nice Cambria countertops continued into this area dual glass bowls dual mirrors and medicine cabinets storage underneath and then this area here is really a nice layout when you think about six foot five being in a shower being on the boat for an extended period of time for me to be able to come in and have as much headroom as I still do inches over my head still available uh, you've really got a beautiful spa like uh, environment here in the master head so this to me has always been one of the strongest points I think on the 650 fly that separates it from just about any boat in this class